Madam Minister, distinguished guests, colleagues from the U.S. Embassy. I am very, very happy to be here today for the signing of this pretty important agreement between our two governments. I congratulate the Ministry of Justice on the establishment of the Center for Development of Legislation and Legal Studies. And I want to take just a moment to thank two organizations, two people that made today possible. The Minister of Justice brought this idea to me and to Debbie Greiser's predecessor as head of USAID really just a few months ago. And I immediately thought, and my colleagues at USAID as well, that this was a good idea. But as always, the question was, could the embassy, could the U.S. government find the resources to support the ministry and the ministers? Good idea to create this center. So I want to take a moment just to thank my colleagues, starting with the mission director, Debbie Dreiser, and her colleague from SID, for their creativity, their professionalism, and their expertise in helping us find a way that we could quickly move to support this center's establishment. And I also want to thank the Minister and all of her colleagues here at the Ministry of Justice. We have a strong and important relationship and partnership with the ministry. And we've had an even deeper partnership under the minister's direction over the last few months. Indeed, the opening of this center is really just the latest, I think, very strong example of the strong cooperative partnership that we enjoy with the ministry and ensuring good governance, fair justice, and fighting corruption in our I'm very proud that the U.S. government, the U.S. Embassy, can help to facilitate the initial startup of the center, and then we continue, and that we can then continue to provide strong support during the center's first 12 months of operation. I'm very confident that the center will have a significant impact on helping draft legislative uh, texts, providing legislative review that will ensure that legislation is in accordance with the new constitution of the Republic of Armenia. I'd just like to add that if we are committed to supporting the center as it gets up and running for the first 12 months of its operation. But of course it will be very important for the long-term long sustainability of the center that there be other support found for it and other resources found to support it. And the embassy will work with the ministry to help find those other sources as well.
The center is a great idea, a great project. It needs to live on. I'll end by saying thank you, Madam Minister, for your cooperation and your support with the embassy. And I wish this center many years of productive work and successful activity. Yes, And I think that through our work in developing the center, uh, 
This is our way of moving forward together. So I look forward to our work together. Yes,